and we grab Lightburn and drag it into the Applications folder. Mail. And I don't know why that popped up, but... <laughs> Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Laser Everything. As you can see, we are doing things a little bit differently today. We are in Mac OS. To be specific, we are in version 13.4.1. That's Ventura and we're on our M1 Pro. So we are going to get started today with a simple tutorial on how to get Lightburn installed. It's actually very, very, very easy, but it's something that I see questions about fairly often. So we're going to open our web browser of choice. I like using Chrome, so you could do this in Safari too. And we're just going to go to lightburnsoftware.com. And Lightburn's going to pop right up. And we're just going to click download trial. And we're going to scroll down. And we can see there's a Mac OS version. So if we click that, it's going to want to save this DMG file. That's just a Mac installation file and we can open that right up. So all we have to do is just grab Lightburn and drag it into the Applications folder. Once that's done, we can scroll up in our list here and we'll see Lightburn is right there. We can double click it to launch it. This is just saying it's an app downloaded from the internet. We do want to open it, so we'll hit open. It's going to take a second because this is the first time. We can close this, we can close that. And here we are, we're in Chrome. We've got our uh, trial ID here, so we can just start with the trial for now. And we can close this. And as you can see, I've actually been running the trial on this machine for a while, so we can go ahead and input a license key. And we're gonna click activate license. And we'll hit okay. And uh, it's going to tell me a bunch of libraries didn't load, and that's just because I have Google Drive set up a little bit differently on the computer. But here we are. We are in Lightburn on Mac OS X. So now the Lightburn's installed, I'm just going to show you a couple tricks really quick. So uh, if we close this, Lightburn's going to just kind of like stay over here. If we actually right click this and go to options, we can click keep and dock. And that's going to move it over here just so that it's always uh, available, whether it's open or not. So I really like doing that. The other thing is if we just right click up here, this is like our installation mounted, uh, the DMG file. If you just click eject, uh, that'll go away. It'll unmount that and uh, you're back to normal just to keep your desktop nice and clear. And that's basically it. Uh, again, if we click this, it'll launch now from the dock and that's really all there is to it. And you can just go ahead and start adding lasers if you'd like. So here we are on the laser tab. And if we just click devices, you can go ahead and start adding lasers just like you would on the Windows version of the software. Once you're past installation, pretty much everything else in Lightburn is identical on Mac and Windows. So that's all for this one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload an episode. If you want to support the channel, head over to the LMA. It's the number one way to support Laser Everything. You can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. And I think that's all I've got. So thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one.